Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Dirt Grain Steel. So, as of yesterday, we uh, found out that the oil pump, engine oil pump, was junk in 4955. Well, after tearing it apart, realizing that the gears inside the oil pump were spinning on the pump shaft, I got to thinking. I wonder if that's how the engine in the 850 John Deere Dozer that we just engine swapped a uh, couple well it's been about a month ago now i was wondering if maybe the same thing happened it so i woke up in the middle of the night thinking all this and i'm like you know what tomorrow morning we're gonna go check so here's the engine out of the 850 that has the spun rod bearings and main bearings that obviously ran out of oil pressure we're gonna pull that pump out this morning and we're gonna check it out just out of curiosity i gotta know so, <clears throat> the pan's already unbolted from previously. Pan's junk anyway, it's got a hole in it. So, here's our oil pump right here. So, I've got the wrong size socket. I'll be back. I gotta get another socket. Okay, so I got the right size socket. I can't believe I missed that. curious to see if this is what happened. I don't know that it happened because there's stuff stuck to the screen, but that don't mean that that didn't work its way down in there after the fact. We're going to see. Gonna need a pry bar. Have to pry that off. Let me go get a pry bar. Okay, so I got me a pry bar. I'm gonna pry this up. And no, we're not gonna use this bump in the 4955. Though. That's not gonna happen. Really? Why won't you come out of it? The other one came right out of the tractor. Get nasty with it, I guess. It's junk anyways. There it goes. Okay. So, there we go. It's out. Now, oh, this one's a hair different. Go get a wobble extension. I'll be back. We've got a wobble extension now. Should be able to get that bolt out. Yep, there we go. That's definitely got a different intake tube on it, especially since it, it had a deep pan compared to the dozer. Let's 
Canım. Everything's so flamey. There we go. Now, moment of truth. But, as we found the other one, it flashed the night before, and we think the gear actually broke loose momentarily off the shaft, caused it to... Uh, it, the gear locked to the shaft again and it was fine for a little bit. So, being this one ran without oil, maybe it ran without oil, locked to the shaft again. We may never know. This one is actually all right. This one's not uh, spinning on the shaft like the other one was. So, Possibly this motor could have died from other reasons. I'm going to say that it probably wasn't from, it might have not have been from this oil pump dying. But I thought maybe this was a good thing to check. Maybe just to put this to bed. Oh, I don't know. Something's ran through this pump at one time. It feels kind of funny. Yeah, I don't think this oil pump, this oil pump, I don't think was the cause of death. But I don't know. It's hard to tell. That that gear could be galled back to that shaft. It's hard to tell, but there's oil in it. So, I don't know. We may never know what really happened to this motor. But, there's a little oil pump teardown. Kind of what we done on... The 4955 engine so you kind of get the idea how they come out by looking at this like I said this one has a different intake tube on it because it had a way deeper pan than the tractor did and it's a different design of pan so when the dozers tipped it still gets oil so anyways thanks for watching this this morning I appreciate it if you like this give me a like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one So, I reassembled this engine, the oil pump, just just for safekeeping. But, uh, true cause of death of this 6466 that came out of the 850 John Deere dozer, true cause of death is a uh, main bearing failure. That's what I've uh, determined. Uh, there's pieces of bearing material hanging out, and there's pieces on the screen. I was just thinking an odd stroke of luck. Maybe it was the oil pump done the same thing it done the 49 or that the 49 done. So, but I have determined true cause of death was main bearing failure. So, I'm going to throw the pan back on top of it. Uh, I believe this block is still good. And I've been thinking about building a farm stock pulling tractor. So... I'm going to put this in the building and keep it for now. And when I get the uh, time and the money, uh, I think I'm going to pull it back out of the archives, bring it in the shop, and we'll do a major overhaul on it and do some performance stuff to it and build me 6466 farm stock pulling motor out of it and put it in probably like a 4430. So... There you have it. True cause of death, main bearing failure, not oil pump. Could have been main bearing failure in the 49 if it wouldn't have told me to shut the engine off. So for once, the safety lights done their job, and it saved the engine and that tractor. So we're going to go get a new oil pump for this today, and we're going to put it back together, and I'm going to get back to planting.